Aspen, Colorado, playground for the rich and famous. Aspen's a beautiful place both in summer and winter. It's the home to almost 100 billionaires. Not full-time residents, but residents. The airport has three times as many private aircraft as public aircraft. It started as a ski town. It became kind of a haven for celebrities like Ernest Hemingway. And then it grew into something more. Today, Jeff Bezos is the wealthiest resident of Aspen. He's not there often, but his family is. His parents live there. And his dad is on the Aspen Institute board. His wealth is over $200 billion. And this family probably has more money than all the other people on this list combined. Jeff's half-brother, Mark, spends a great deal of time in Aspen and flew with him on the recent Blue Origin mission. Ann Walton, age 72, the only daughter of Sam Walton, who started Walmart. Her family is worth perhaps $200 billion. Her husband used to develop shopping centers anchored by Walmarts. He's worth around $6 billion. She built the $1 billion Crystal Bridges Museum in Bentonville, Arkansas, her home. Walmart has made her one of the richest women in the world. Michael Dell, he's 56 years old. He has about $56 billion in assets. He's a genius. He started out at his parents' home selling computers. He realized that it was much better to sell computers direct to consumers. He created that industry. He bought and sold Dell. He's brilliant at managing investments, not just computers, but all sorts of technology. Born and raised in Texas, that's where his company's based. No state income tax in Texas. Charles Koch, age 86 the 21st richest man in America. He and his brother ran Coke Industries for years. His brother David died a couple years back. The company was originally involved in oil refining chemicals. Now they're into all sorts of things. Georgia Pacific's their biggest holding. They make pollution control equipment, polymers, fibers, toilet paper, lumber, paper cups, commodity trading services, you name it, they do it. And they're controversial because they're also supporting conservative causes. Estee Lauder was a brilliant genius in the skincare and cosmetics industry. Her family runs the Estee Lauder Corporation. Leonard is the patriarch, he's 88. He spends a lot of time in Aspen and works with the Aspen Institute. Erin is one of the next generation. She also has a home there. Ken Griffin, only 53 years old, runs Citadel, one of the largest and most successful hedge funds in the world. Roman Abramovich is a rich Russian oligarch with yachts and homes all around the world. Lester Crown is the 96-year-old patriarch of the Crown family. His wife is a hotel heiress. Their son James is the CEO of the Aspen Institute. His wife Paula is a famous philanthropist. The initial money was made in General Dynamics. They were the largest shareholders since the 1950s. They now own part of the New York Yankees and other athletic teams and real estate holdings such as 
the Rockefeller Center, and hotels around the country. They are a shareholder of the Chicago Bulls, and they live in Chicago. They bought the Aspen Ski Company a few years ago, and they own other resorts around the country. But Aspen Snowmass is their main holding. Leslie Wechner, the 84-year-old retailing genius who started Victoria's Secrets, Abercrombie & Fitch, Bed Bath & Beyond, and many other companies, embroiled in the Jeffrey Epstein scandal up to his neck. He lives in Columbus, Ohio, and has had a home in Aspen, Colorado for decades. Graham Hart, age 65, the wealthiest man in New Zealand, an LBO specialist leveraged buyouts, best known for being the major holder of Reynolds Consumer Packaging. He's the packaging king. That's his specialty. He lives in Australia, New Zealand, and Aspen, Colorado. Richard Kinder, 77 years old, runs one of the largest energy infrastructures companies in America, Kinder Morgan. In 1996, he left Enron, divorced his wife, and married his boss's assistant, Ken Lay's assistant of Enron. He and his partner started Kinder Morgan the next year. Now it's become one of the very largest pipeline systems in America with all sorts of varied energy projects. Also, Plattner is the co-founder of SAP, a German multinational software corporation based in Waldorf, Baden-Württemberg. They develop enterprise software to manage business solutions. When you think of Hyatt Hotels, you think of Pritzker's. Tom Pritzker runs it, age 77. His cousin Penny also lives in Aspen, and she's very influential in politics. Hyatt Hotels has been in their family for decades. They also own real estate and a wide variety of companies around the country. Stephen Ross is an 81-year-old real estate developer, a genius at what he does best known for developing the amazing Time Warner Center next to Central Park in New York where he lives in that building. He also developed Hudson Yards along the Hudson River. He's best known for being the owner, 95% of the Miami Dolphins. These are the Ziff brothers heirs to the Ziff Davis publishing fortune. Ziff Davis was famous for publishing magazines like PC Magazine, Car and Driver, and many other trade publications. Their father sold the company for $1.4 billion in 1994. When he died, they each got a third of the money. They have built it up more than 10 times. It's close to $12 billion right now. They lived in Aspen for many years. This is Daniel Ziff, and here is his brother, Dirk Ziff, and the third brother, Robert. They love skiing, they love Aspen, and they're very active in the community. Stuart Resnick, age 84, is well suited to work with his wife as they develop a myriad of companies. They are geniuses in marketing. You might know some of their products, such as Fiji Water. They buy these companies and they rebrand re them, they rebuild them, they build up their marketing. 
Another one is Palm, Palm Wonderful, pomegranates and many other products. They were first successful with Franklin Mint. They bought it, built it up, and sold it a few years later. They also make pistachios and all sorts of citrus products. Their companies are the largest user of water in California. Jeffrey Hildebrand, age 61 of Texas, runs a big energy company. Very successful, gave every employee a $100,000 bonus one year. Ed Bass, age 76, best known for funding projects like Biosphere 2. His fortune and his brother's fortunes were made by being the heirs of Sid Richardson, one of the big oil men in Texas. Sid was partners with H.L. Hunt and Clint Murchison, and the book The Big Rich tells all about how they made fortunes in Texas and funded LBJ. Later, they took their inheritance and invested in Disney, Ed did with his brothers, and made a fortune. John Sobrato, age 82, one of the largest owners of real estate in Silicon Valley for decades. Andreas von Bechtelschein of Germany, a co-founder of Sun Microsystems, which was a wildly fantastic tech company that was bought out years ago. He was an early investor in Google, where a lot of his fortune comes from. He lives in Germany and in Colorado. Daniel Oak, age 61, started at Goldman Sachs, left and started one of the most successful hedge funds in history. He loves skiing. John Doerr, age 70, started as one of the top salesmen at Intel. Then the top venture capital firm in America, Kleiner Perkins, hired him away. He was very successful with big investments early in Facebook and Google, which made him a multi-billionaire along with some of his co-workers. He lives in California. Christopher Reyes, age 67, runs the largest and most successful beer distribution company in America along with a few Coca-Cola bottling plants. Neil Bloom was an attorney who turned real estate mogul. Now he runs casinos such as Midwest Gaming and Rush Street. He's a genius in the casino world and has adapted to online gaming. This is his latest casino, the Rivers Casino. David Bonderman of Texas, age 79, founding partner of TPG, one of the largest private equity firms in the world, part owner of Boston Celtics, big conservationist. Haim Saban, 77-year-old Israeli-American media mogul in TV and entertainment and movies, best known for creating Power Rangers. William Wrigley of North Palm Beach, Florida, is 57 years old. His family sold the Wrigley's Gum Company to Berkshire Hathaway years ago. He's been in philanthropy for 10 years, a long-term part-time resident of Aspen, Colorado.
Mort Zuckerman, age 84, is from New York City. He's eccentric. He owns U.S. News and World Report and New York Daily News. He likes to go exploring caves and hunting for buried treasure. He's one of the most interesting people. I've actually met him in person, and he's a nice guy. Herb Simon, age 86, from Indiana. He has the smallest house of anybody on this list in Aspen. He controls more malls than anybody else in America. Howard Schultz, age 67, creator of Starbucks and investor in Lululemon, eBay, and Groupon, lives in Seattle, Washington. Paul Singer, age 76, of New York City. This man has a very good heart. He's generous. He's feared on Wall Street because Elliott Management, his company, is known to look for companies with distressed debt and force them to make changes. Michael Eisner, age 79 years old, lived in Beverly Hills, famous for running Disney for many years, now has Parante Investment Company. Nice guy, huge, huge estate in Aspen. Kit Goldsbury, from San Antonio, Texas, age 77, got divorced from his wife, bought her out, then sold his company, Pace Picante Sauce, to Campbell Soup. Dan Snyder is a marketing genius, especially in direct marketing. 56 years old from Potomac, Maryland, famous for being the longtime owner of the Washington Redskins, which changed its name. 